the largest county by land east of the Rockies, larger than the states of Connecticut and Rhode Island combined. Aroostook is richly endowed with farmland, and as the days shorten and cool, that land is loaded with potatoes. The industry is, I would say, in good shape. The demand for potato products has been very strong. Five generations of McCrums have farmed these fields. Mechanization has transformed the industry, but Nick McCrum says that ramping up for the harvest never gets easier. You can't dig in September because it's too warm. The cold's still coming in October, so it's really critical that we've got enough staff here to get these potatoes out in a short amount of time. But has there ever been a problem a good vacation couldn't solve? Harvest break. Local schools close for two to three weeks so a rustic teens can help bring in the potatoes. McCrum helps oversee his family's operations at County Super Spuds in the town of Mars Hill. It's been a long-standing tradition here in Aroostook County, going back generations. They're working long days. It's not 65 and sunny every day either. It's good for the kids. They, they get tough. I was just itching to get out. I just get down and play in the dirt. Didn't we all used to do it? when we were little. 17 year old Brandon Conroy is all too happy to swap algebra class for the great outdoors. Pickers get $2.50 a barrel. A good eight hour day, I should be able to do 25 or 30 or so with a decent crop. We find Brandon at the Bondesen farm in the town of New Sweden, one of the very last farms to use hand picking crews. I think I'm one of the last ones left. Sven Bondesen is a seventh generation member of a vibrant Swedish community in the towns of Stockholm and New Sweden. Just check out the new siding on his barn. Figured if I was going to put up metal, I might as well try a big Swedish flag. Give everyone something to look at. <laughs> Bondesen used mechanized harvesters for a few years, but opted to go back to hand crews. Two reasons. Quality's better. With the hand picking, there's a lot less bruising. And it's just, it's more fun. He's serious about fun. Every day, Bondesen and the kids build a campfire in the field and have a cookout for lunch. Of course, that's when the hot potatoes start flying. It's all about keeping the workforce happy. They're fun to have around. Without them, I can't pick them all myself. <laughs> Hand picking may be more physically demanding than working the conveyor belts at the bigger operations, but Bondesen sees kids come back time and again. It's been at least six years. 11th grader Madison Sky Paul is a repeat picker. She likes the camaraderie she finds in the fields. I do, I love it. Everybody has their own sections and once their sections are picked up and other people are behind, we'll go and help them. So it helps establish teamwork. Bondesen's organic potatoes will be sold to markets, but most of Aroostook's potatoes, like those at the Penobscot McCrum operation, are processed into potato products, like chips and fries. Nick McCrum says all signs point to a good year. After all, he's been checking the daily yields and the NFL standings. Whenever the Patriots win, make it to the Super Bowl, we always do better. There's more parties in New England. Go Pats. And in 2018, the Northern Maine School Board voted to phase out the harvest break because fewer kids were participating. But after an outcry from local potato farmers, they reinstated it. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday night. Good night, everyone.